Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, September 26, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's go and look at the NASDAQ. And last week was absolutely uh, horrible for the NASDAQ. We got a fairly big warning sign here. This is only roughly two and a half weeks ago uh, when we uh, rallied above the 50 moving average, ran into massive resistance here at 12.8K and then just fell off a cliff. Since then, it has just continued following. We have we reached the support, support down here. here. We are basically testing, nearly testing the lows of June. At this current stage, it's going to be difficult basically to get all the way down there. Could be, but we are getting so overstretched in this market that a rally at this point it is much more plausible than for this to basically just fall, continue falling. And the reason why, uh, why I say that is because our RSI is at 31. So this is the daily getting towards um, oversold conditions in the RSI, even though we have um, the world economy in general looking in a really bad shape um, and also um, financial markets in basically in turmoil uh, every single day, it's really hard to get basically much lower than this without seeing a rally. Um, doesn't mean that we'll not go lower, only means that at this current stage, it's uh, much more likely that we'll see this rally up towards the 20 simple moving average, 50 or the 200 moving average before going significantly lower. So let's look at this. So first of all, we have a massive uh, bottom here, uh, basically the lows of, uh, of June, and we are basically testing that right now. You can also see the Bollinger Band. We have are way past the bottom of the Bollinger Band and the RSI is at nearly oversold conditions. So what may happen here is that we'll see a market that could rally up towards the 20 simple moving average, that is at 12K, or the 50 moving average, which at the moment is 12.5K, or in best case, best case scenario, towards the 200 moving average, or this upper trend line. So we have tested this three, three times, three times we because it fell off the cliff here, uh, fell down, rallied, got uh, broke down yet again, rallied, and then broke down yet again. So this is holding quite well, and it should ex be expected that if we get towards this area here, which is roughly at 13K, uh, that we will see a lot of selling occurring. If we break above here, then we may see this market basically turn around for, uh, for quite some time. But at this point, 20 simple moving average is moving this direction. We may see this market rally up towards this point and then break down. If we break above this, then the 50 moving average is moving in this direction. So we may see this rally up towards that point and then break down. Or in probably best case scenario is that we rally up towards the 200 and uh, up uh, in the trend line and then break down. So we have a double top here, which we it's basically at the same place as where the 200 and the upper trend line will be eventually. So due to the fact that we are so overstretched and we may see basically this rally as we have seen several of them and are quite common in bear markets uh, up towards the 200 moving average. If we basically break above, below here, then basically watch out below because this is going to go significantly uh, lower. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still very bearish, RSI is also bearish, and the, R and the stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is technically flat at this current stage. If we look at the big picture, we can look at the Fibonacci retracement and also see that, look at the lows of 2020, we can see that we have broken below uh, the 50 Fibonacci retracement, and the 61.8 is just underneath here. So that is down towards the 10 point, um, uh, 10.5k, so just uh, 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 roughly uh, 700 points below the lows of, of June. So it is plausible, but this should also be a massive support area um, if we were to break below the lows of June. So let's look at the S&P 500. So very similar story here. We tested the 200 moving average a few weeks ago, and then we just completely fell off a cliff. 
We also have created a double bottom here, similar to what we have seen in the NASDAQ. The participle moving average is right here. That is 3,900, give or take. And that's also where we have found massive resistance in the past. So, so if we were to rally, then we may rally up towards the um, 3,900 level and then break down. You have the 50 moving average trading here at 4,036. That should also be massive resistant. And then we have also the 200 moving average trading at 4,130. It's not technically until we basically break above the 200 moving average that we may see this market um, change trend. But usually uh, when you create a, a double bottom like this, you do have a rally before going down. There's several examples of that. Uh, yeah, we can basically look at this chart. We can basically see it right here. We had a double bottom and then we rally and so on. That's a quite normal pattern to see. So it's going to be interesting to see basically when the US market opens today, what basically happens if we basically break below here, which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, but uh, or how far we rally before we, we turn around. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the Catholic is bearish, 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 RSI is also bearish, and we are 28 in RSI. So we are at oversold condition in the daily chart, which usually means that it's more plausible that we'll see a rally at this point than a further breakdown, but that is to be seen. So Dow Jones has broken below the lows of June. So this is where we were the lows at 29.6. We were trading at the 20, 9.5 at this stage and on friday we were at 29.2 so dow jones has basically been really bearish but uh, we are way past the bottom of the bullish band here we are also significantly oversold in the in the rsi uh, but other technical indicators are looking terrible so if we were to rally then roughly this area here you can see that there's a previous a uh, lot of resistance and support uh, which is roughly at the 31 up towards 31.3k also where we have the 20 simple moving average 50 moving average moving in this direction 20 simple uh, 200 moving average moving in this direction so if we were to break above this area then we may see resistance in both of these resistant lines so also here we have another area which is, is going to be really difficult in order to get through. You can see how this was basically the bottom, this was the top, and then we also broke down from here. But overall, negativity is most likely going to continue for some time as interest rates will continue to rise and uncertainty in the markets is just um, getting out of control at this current stage. So let's look at the, the European markets. So you uh, we did have a triple bottom here in uh, the DAX and we did break below that. So question is whether or not that this is going to be a massive barrier now and we will just break down from here or whether or not we, we may see this market rally up towards, there we go, a rally up towards the 50 moving average which is moving in this direction. So we could find resistant here breakdown or we rally up towards the 50 breakdown or the 200 moving average moving in this direction fairly fast so we could also see a, a bigger rally here if uh, in best case scenario if all of these other um, indices rally as well before breaking down i think that's basically this goes much lower uh, forecast for european economy is just horrible and and probably one of the worst case scenarios is also that usually Europe elects really terrible leaders in bad times. Uh, historically, that has been the case. And uh, also this week, we elected far right leaders when we are in a crisis. And usually that basically creates a bigger crisis. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is on the edge of being oversold. So momentum is definitely to the downside. So Japanese yen, this has basically crashed at this current stage. We are in an area where we have found massive support in the past. We can look at 
this area here, which is roughly at the 27.25K. So we're entering this area and until we get towards 25.7K, give or take, that is an area where we could bounce from. We are significantly outside of the bullish band, oversold in RSI. So rallying here could be a, uh, a possibility. We can see that 200 moving average is moving in this direction, 50 moving average moving in this direction, and they will most likely cross within a few days if this basically continues. So we could see this rally up towards the 200 moving average before breaking down or the 50, which is up here before breaking down. If you look at technical English, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. Definitely this market is, um, has been, in a range we did see this rally above this range range um, um, or, or a few few weeks but from 20 uh, 25.7 up towards uh, 28k that has been the range of the of the nikki um for the line basically for 2022 so so if we break below here then we may test the very lows uh, that we saw back in march so let's look at the VIX because the VIX continues to rise. It is at the stage overbought. We are above 70. We are significantly outside of the, of the Bollinger Band. So the last time we saw this was basically here. So this is where we tested the 200 moving average, had a massive rally for like uh, three days above the Bollinger Band, got significant, got oversold and then it just absolutely crashed. So we may see something similar to this, or we may see a retesting of the 200 or the 50 moving average, which is down at the 24 or 25 at this current stage. But most of the bad news should be out there already. There is not uh, that much bad news that get, uh, basically can come out in order to get these moves. So we know that the Fed is going to increase interest rates. We know that um, that uh, monetary policy is going to change. And uh, and we also know that inflation is going to be something that is going to be uh, with us for the foreseeable future. Um, what I'm looking at at the moment is technically to see a weakness in inflation. And if we see inflation basically going down by uh, quite a bit, then that could be a sign of uh, peak inflation and uh, markets will most likely act extremely positive to that and, uh, and the VIX will most likely also fall significantly. So here we have a similar case, very outside of the bullish band, oversold conditions. So the next few trading days is going to be interesting whether or not we see a continuation or just basically a drop back towards the lows here or towards this area which we can find the 250 moving average so here the very lows at 19.88 so that's what's back in, 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 in early in mid august macd is still bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is still bullish at this current stage so let's look at the 10 year so 10 year very similar here this is getting ridiculous and and uh, usually when things get this overbought you can see that the rsi is at 80 at this point and we reached all the way up towards 3.8 uh, on 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 thursday it was this is going to uh, m most likely pull back towards the 20 simple moving average or the previous highs here so we may see this pull back towards the 20 simple which is at the 3.3.6 uh, give or take if we break below that, then we have 3.5 down here, which is the previous highs. And then we have the 50 moving average moving this direction. So we could see this market drop all the way down to the 50 before going up or in worst case scenario for this market to drop towards the 200 and then go higher. So 50 has offered support in the past 200. We didn't really test it here, but got very close to it before taking off. But that's kind of what uh, I expect to happen the next uh, um, three months that we will see this market gradually grind uh, lower as we are so significantly over uh, overbought at this point. MACD is still very bullish, stochastic is bullish and RSI is, as I said, significantly overbought. So 
Hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And please do your own due, due, due diligence before trading. Good luck and thank you very much.